tattoos are a quick way to end up in retail hell. <laughs> now, with all gratitude to the essential workers who are keeping us alive, given the choice, many of them would probably choose not to be there. Um, many of them have been doing it so long that they don't think that they're capable of more than that. Maybe you're one of those people working in retail hell, serving serving food that you know will wreak havoc on the digestive system of your customers. Heck, maybe it's even wreaking havoc on your digestive system. And every time you you dole out that bag of you know that bag with the, the grease that you can literally see the grease kind of getting through the bag you know it's gonna kind of drizzle down their gullets and yours <laughs> maybe you're maybe you're sneaking a little fry in here and there that's right we see what you're doing on the security cameras <laughs> but seriously Tattoos are a quick way to retail hell of uh, of any <laughs> of of many different kinds, and um, and the reason is the reason is simply that uh, it's it's uh, a tattoo is signaling to the world, I got a problem, and you better not get involved with me. And if you do, if you do, don't say I didn't warn you, because because uh, see right here, this this tattoo here, <laughs> this tattoo here, warned you. That I'm damaged good, see. So, uh, if your goal is to kind of move in a, a, a good, good direction, um, uh, tattoos. Just like uh, you notice, a lot of women intentionally, uh, subconsciously, um, you know, put on weight because everybody, anytime someone gains weight, it's intentional uh, to to some degree. Um, you know, with with exceptions that are a lot more rare than, um, you know, than, than uh, media influence would have us believe. Um, you know, because if, you know, of course, if we draw attention to it, well, that's our fault. And, and of course, we wouldn't want to feel bad about anything because that would, you know, that would make us want to change stuff that, uh, that that's not helping us out. Um, but anyway, um, but anyway, you, you go into any retail hell and, and that's that's where you're likely to find the the people with the the weird hair and uh, and all this stuff uh, because in part because they're earning they've, they've gone to the other interviews and uh, um, you know and obviously you'll you'll find the rare social justice warriors who, who actually uh, have decent jobs <laughs> um, and uh, and for whatever reason the, their coworkers and bosses put up with the the weird hair um, the uh, uh, you know it looks like they either fell into a river or uh, or maybe turn into a vegetable, um, <laughs> uh, but uh, but but generally, uh, generally this is the very thing. And most of them don't want to change. In fact, I've I've actually talked to a number of of uh, these um, retail uh, people who you know with the hampered. Are, they're like, oh, I'm just struggling to make it day by day. And I'm like, well, have you thought about changing the color of you? You know, have you thought about maybe not not uh, polluting your hair with uh, that that um, the dirt that whatever you're rubbing in, into it <laughs> like would you maybe take a shower <laughs> uh you know it's like duh but of course this is all a foreign language to them because because uh on the television it's uh it's it's like a thing it's like oh i'm i'm like a, i'm a smurf i'm a smurf and and who are you to tell me who are you to tell me that i uh, maybe i was born with 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 purple hair Oh, maybe I was born. Maybe I'm really. Maybe I'm really a vegetable inside, and I love being a vegetable because we are all Mother Earth, and we are all connected in the great vegetable of life, or something like that. Um, I, I don't understand the millennial mind, even though I am one. Um, but uh, anyway, just uh, some insights. Anyway. Want to make more money? Maybe even double your income potential. One wonderful way to start. If you're if you have tattoos, fade them. If you've got colored hair, take a shower. This is America's man's man. America's man's man.